Hey there, everybody. My name is Gabriela, and today I will be guiding you through a yin practice through sunlight yoga. First of all, make sure that you are in a nice, comfortable position. We're going to begin seated. I'm sitting cross-legged because this is what feels most natural and most comfortable. However, a comfortable seat may mean that your feet are together and your knees are wide. Or maybe the feet are planched on the ground, hands on the knees. I may be here guiding you through your practice, but ultimately, you are your best teacher. Once I find my comfortable seat, I'm cupping my hands together, letting my thumbs touch at center just to take a moment to arrive fully into our practice, not just physically, but mentally as well. Take notice of your breath without changing or controlling anything just yet. Just become aware of inhale and exhale. Become aware of the sensation of your body and its weight pressing deeper into the mat as you settle in. Stay long through the spine, pressing the crown of the head upward, letting the six bones press even deeper into the mat, creating a sense of elongation and decompression amongst your vertebrae. bearing witness of your breath and your thoughts, we are creating a sanctuary, a sanctuary that is not dependent on outside circumstances, but solely on yourself. I invite you to take control of your breath and be aware of the sensations coursing through the body as we practice. By paying special attention to these processes, we're able to be present here in the now. beyond everything that is going on outside of the walls of this sanctuary. Some of us may like to set an intention for yourself to come back to Whenever your mind wanders, a simple thought or phrase that you can repeat silently to yourself to anchor you back into your asana practice. Begin to exhale the air currently sitting in your lungs. Inhale, let the lower abdomen expand. 
transfer that expansion to the rib cage and the chest. Exhale through nose, easy, with control. Deflating chest, rib cage, and belly. Inhale, big. Exhale, fully. Let the breath nourish each pose and each conscious thought throughout today's practice. Let us begin with our first pose. As you notice, I am not using any props today and I did that on purpose just so you could practice at ease and home. I will be offering modifications throughout the practice. Extend right leg out as your left foot comes in towards your inner thigh. And then exhale, fold or that extended leg. As you notice, I'm letting my hands just gently be placed on the mat. I am not exerting any force or any effort. I'm softening into the posture. In order to keep time, I will be using these hourglasses, enabling us to achieve inward focus with no alarms and no timers. Inhale. Exhale, soft. Bring your awareness to your breath. Notice where the mind is. And lead it back to the pose. Back to the inhale. And the exhale. Observe the knee to scratch, fidget, or move. And notice if your body is actually feeling uncomfortable or if it's the mind trying to find something to do. 
pay attention to the body. Pay attention to the mind. I invite you to deepen your exhale during the last few minutes of the pose. Inhale, begin to ease the hands back. Slowly press the chest upward. And with that same gentleness, you bring right leg in, extend left leg out. I like to keep the legs at a sort of check mark shape at the diagonal. I'm going to restart my timer. Softening into the posture, finding a halt as soon as I feel a gentle stretch in the back of my leg, my hamstring, and my calf muscle. Finding a sense of relaxation and release in the exhale. Breathing with awareness and intention. Keep fostering this space for yourself and your introspection.
indeed been your exhale for the last few moments in our half butterfly forward fold. Encouraging a deeper sense of surrender. Inhale, begin to walk the hands back towards yourself. Udadli, bend left knee. And transition onto a tabletop position. Stacking the hips over the knees, the shoulders over the wrists. And take a moment to flow through some cats and cows. Inhaling, softening belly towards the ground, lifting tailbone, lifting gaze. And exhaling, pressing into the hands, rounding the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to add any variations to your movements. Maybe the hip circle. Then from here, bring the big toes together, knees wide as they are comfortable. You're more than welcome to cushion the knees a little further by folding the mat in half, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then setting my timer up for three minutes. We're easing back into a child's pose. Option to keep the hands in front of you or by your sides. You choose what feels best. I'm to keep, going to keep them out in front of me just to feel a stretch in the shoulder joint. And I'm breathing into the back side of my ribs. Exhaling, softening deeper into the pose. Now, easing back towards the heels may not be an option because we may feel discomfort in our knee or simply because we've had a pre-existing condition. If easing back on your heels in a traditional child's pose is not an option for you, you can always lie on your back, bringing big toes together just like you would on the ground, knees wide, Gently holding the shins, avoiding pressing into that joint directly. And you're still getting that nice compression of your abdomen towards your thighs once you're breathing in. And you're still getting that rounding of your lower back, which is one of the greater benefits we derive from child's pose. So you choose what feels appropriate for your body. I'm going to ease back again towards my heels, stretching the arms out, breathing with control.
Inhale, begin to press yourself back up to a tabletop position. And take a moment to flow through some hip circles, some cats and cows, whatever feels comfortable and intuitive. From here, I'm unfolding my mat. And then with control, lowering to my belly, keeping my shoulders stacked over my elbows and pressing the palms down. Starting my timer again. This is called Sphinx Pose and there's a few ways we can go about it. If your low back feels uncomfortable here, you're more welcome to increase the space between the legs. You can also slide the hands forward a little bit just to create a little less of a dramatic curvature in the lumbar spine. If you want to make this stretch deeper, you may alternatively bring the fingers to the outer corners of your mat and press into the palms for half seal, a deeper back. Pick whatever version of the pose feels the best. If none of the above work, you can bring the hands together and lower onto the elbows for the gentlest of all back bends. Reverse corpse. Hug the shoulders back slightly and press the chest forward. Barely any effort, softening into the pose. Begin to inhale, walk the hands together. Exhale, elbows wide, lower the chest to the ground. One cheek to the backs of your hands. Bend your knees, begin to windshield wiper the legs to release the low back. From here, lengthen the legs down to the ground. And we're going to find a half supine twist from Sphinx, which I think targets more of your mid and your upper back. Now, this twist feels a little more intense than our super, supine version, which means uh, lying on your back. I will demonstrate both ways. But for today's practice, we're going to begin with this version. From lying on your, on your belly, you're going to slide left hand underneath right knee will go out to the side and then i'm going to exhale open my chest 
letting my body find its natural soft space within this twist. I'm keeping my right arm extended out to a T and I'm letting the head fall gently to the right side so that way I can incorporate the muscles of the neck into this twist. Keep breathing with control, feeling how that breath enables the internal organs to get a little bit of a massage. Twists are great for digestion. They're also awesome for increasing flexibility and that rotational range of motion in the spine. If you'd like to access this twist in a more traditional way, you can lie on your back. Keep right knee in, left leg out, and then simply ease that right knee across from the body as the right arm stays extended out to a T. Whatever feels good for you. Let gravity do the work here. Soften deeper into the posture. To come back to Sphinx, we're going to inhale, circle right arm back in, and I'm pressing back up into my pose before transitioning to the other side. So this time I'm sliding right arm underneath, left knee goes out to the side, I'm reaching for my timer. Circling left arm out to a T. My head is easing towards the left side, incorporating the SCM. That's the sternocleidomastoideus, which is a muscle that controls head and neck movements. Feel the body be nourished by the inhale. And relaxed on the exhale.
from here inhale bring left arm in bend by legs so we find the fetal position and ease onto our backs holding the knees close to the chest circling them in opposite directions forward and back and from one side to the other. Giving the sacrum, that's the triangle bone at the base of your spine, and gentle stimulus. Here we're encouraging the movement of synovial fluid, that's the body's natural lubricant to keep our joints mobile and pain-free. To explore the hip joint. And then from here, extend right leg down. Peace fingers, reach alongside the big toe, or you can grab the outer edge of your foot. I like to keep my opposite hand on my opposite hip just to encourage it down. And then I'm going to shine the sole of my foot up towards the ceiling, knee quite close to my armpits. So I get into a half happy baby here, just for a few moments. As you notice, I'm flexing my right toes gently so I can extend out of my heel, out of my hip, and through the back of my leg. I'm keeping the chest open and the shoulders released away from the ear. And then with control, lower the heel a little closer to the thigh. And ease left knee back to the midline of the body. Take a moment to move the knee over the hip. And switch sides, bring right knee in, extend left leg out. Reaching long out of heel, out of hip. Peace fingers around big toe. Opening through the knee, underneath the armpit. Sole of the foot upward. Left hand, left foot. Keep breathing deliberately and with intention. With control, lower the heel closer to the thigh. Bring the knee back to the center of the body. Circle it a few times over the right hip. And then this is where I invite you to take any other movements you'd like. Any other movements that feel natural and intuitive for your body. Maybe some windshield wipers, maybe a gentle inversion such as sleeping tiger or a shoulder stand. If 
now we can simply ease into Shavasana, letting the legs and the arms rest at a comfortable distance from your body. Now, before we settle into our relaxation posture, we're going to practice a technique called progressive muscle relaxation. And it's great for releasing any final tension, any holding that we may have in our muscles. So we're going to begin by bringing the awareness to our lower body first. On your inhale, I want you to lift the legs a couple of centimeters off of the ground. Activate the quadriceps. Bring everything up and in towards your hip. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Flex the toes. Point. And exhale, let them relax completely. Now let's do the same with our upper body. Inhale. I want you to really tense up the fingers. Shrug the shoulders up. Make a fist. Activate the triceps and the biceps. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze tight. And exhale, let everything relax. Now let's do the same with the muscles of the abdomen at the face. Inhale, I want you to squeeze everything tight towards the nose. Really squeeze the abdomen in. And exhale, release completely. Allow the body to become heavier. Feel the pull of gravity. Sinking your body deeper into the mat. Eyes closed. I invite you to visualize two stars sitting on your palms. The stars could be any color you like, any temperature. As you breathe in, these stars grow in size and brightness. As the exhale exits through the nostrils, these stars shrink and blink. They are representative of your life force. Continue to observe sensation and breath. And I'll let you know when it's time to come back.
become aware of your body lying here in Shavasana. Invite movements into the fingers and the toes. Maybe shake the head from one side to the other. Stretch the arms overhead, lengthen through the toes. And whenever you feel ready, roll onto the right side of the body in fetal position. Connecting with sensation and emotion. Whenever you feel ready, press up to a comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed for inward focus. I invite you to bring the hands in prayer position in front of the chest, pressing the thumbs against the breastbone, bringing chin down slightly. This is a gesture of gratitude and union. Gratitude for your body, for the mind and the heart, for health and awareness. Begin to rub the palms together really, really, really fast. Create heat between them. And then bring the bottoms of the palms over your closed eyes. Take notice of shape and color. Return to your intention. Exhale, release the hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today, for setting aside some space for yourself and sharing your beautiful practice with us. See you next time.